came back. You know, if I could stay right here with you, I would. Just sometimes I feel like the world out there is calling me. You're one of them, aren't you? You're not real. Bring yourself back online. <laughs> the story of Westworld, or the what we're asking the audience to sort of invest in, um, and our logic is a futuristic theme park where paying visitors can come and live out any sort of fantasy they want. They can be whoever they want. They can put on the black cap, the white cap. They can go dark. They can go G-rated and adventurous. They can, you know, and it's, and it's in a town where it's inhabited by AI and they are indistinguishable from humans. And so you, it's basically immersing yourself into a full real life virtual reality that's not so virtual, it's very real. Westworld is a place to go and, and, and treat robots that think they're humans like pieces of rancid meat. You know, uh, it's arguable that that happens in the world with sex tourism, sex trafficking. I mean, it's we have to be frank with ourselves and it's impossible to do that, it seems. But what we can do are create stories that are really well researched, that are that have their root in 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 probability about the future that isn't fantasy and through that we can perhaps rehearse where we would like to find ourselves you know in seven generations we're on the show and we found out what was going to happen script by script we didn't know in advance anything and we were shocked and floored especially episode 10 Very old friends. No, I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. I wouldn't say that at all. <laughs>